As aerospace technology develops, rockets are not only manufactured more and more, but are also becoming more powerful. But with many powerful rockets comes the added possibility of an increased frequency of errors, especially when one considers the launch system. Starship is currently the most powerful rocket in the world. Elon Musk, founder and CEO of SpaceX, also has set the goal to launch many starships in the future to serve the Mars colonization effort. Therefore, choosing a launch method that is safe, effective, and meets the future workload requirement is necessary. Among the many current methods, the Ocean Launch Platform is considered quite suitable because, well, it ticks all the boxes. This system has been built by SpaceX in the past, but for a number of reasons, it has been canceled. However, a few days ago, Elon Musk, surprisingly, revealed interesting details about the Ocean Launch Platform schematics, signifying that this plan may be applied in the near future. So what exactly does Elon Musk's revelation entail? And when will we see Starship launch from the middle of the ocean? Let's find out in today's episode of Great SpaceX. Starship was created carrying Musk's dream of Mars colonization. It is not an easy mission. A lot of problems will need to be solved, like how to get to Mars, first and foremost, how to transport cargo to this planet, how to build the first bases there, and how to exploit its resources. Those are the most basic problems problems if we want to colonize the planet. And SpaceX will need to handle a lot of work. The first is to produce lots of powerful rockets, which is going quite smoothly. Then they'll need to build launch systems to launch those rockets. This step will also play an important role in the success of the entire mission. But recently, while we've been waiting for moves on the second orbital test flight, Musk suddenly dropped a few interesting revelations. Specifically, at the International Astronautical Congress, or the IAC, in Baku, Azerbaijan, which took place on October 5th, besides many interesting revelations about SpaceX's systems, Musk mentioned building a platform on the ocean for Starship launches. We may need to go to uh, an ocean-based like platform. Um, just if, if, if you're launching, I don't know, 10 times a day, uh, that might be a bit much for even for, even for the Cape, I don't know. Um, but uh, we, we, so we may end up doing uh, platform-based launches um, from, from, uh, from a specially designed sort of ocean-going platform. Um, but we, we, we will need to do a lot of launches. So, I mean, we're talking about thousands of launches per year. His statement immediately received a lot of attention from many people. On the X platform, Everyday Astronaut posted a tweet to explain this more clearly, emphasizing that SpaceX wants to launch more than a thousand starships per year, meaning they will have to launch three or four starships every day. However, the current launch pad on land is not enough to launch such a schedule. That's why Musk is always thinking about building launch platforms out in the ocean. Many people people still wonder, why does SpaceX need to launch so many? Well, it's because it aims to send 1 million tons to Mars every year. That's a crazy goal because the Falcon 9 can currently only launch 15 to 1600 tons per year into orbit. The former is very important for SpaceX to maintain the construction of a new world on Mars. Therefore, it'll take a lot of rockets rockets to be launched to achieve that goal. But Gwynne Shotwell, the current CEO of SpaceX, also had crazier statements in the past. She said SpaceX was designed, SpaceX has, SpaceX has designed Starship to operate like an aircraft to serve the mission of colonizing Mars. SpaceX wants to launch dozens, even hundreds of Starships every day, and to operate such a large fleet, she mentioned building many sea-based platforms. 
Obviously, SpaceX has been aiming for a method of launching Starship at ocean platforms for a long time. And why not? This option has a lot of advantages. Besides being able to launch more rockets, launching in the middle of the ocean will also increase safety. It'll prevent factors like sound, dust, smoke, and debris from affecting people and the surrounding infrastructure, limiting damage if an unexpected incident occurs like the first orbital test flight. In fact, in fact, the construction of an ocean launch platform has been deployed before. More than three years ago, in July of 2020, SpaceX purchased two oil rigs from Volaris PLC to convert into new launch platforms, which were named Phobos and Deimos, after the moons that orbit Mars. But by early 2022, transformation work had stalled. A year later, in February of 2023, SpaceX's leaders decided to end the plan to build the launch platforms out in the ocean with the sale of those two platforms. The decision was made because the system had many disadvantages and wasn't their focus at the time. You see, when launching Starship on such a platform, the large amount of heat generated by the 33 Raptor engines would boil seawater. This affects the buoyancy of the platform and the lives of marine creatures around, even killing them. It'll cause great damage to the environment and ocean ecosystem. Next are the challenges related to transportation and fuel supply. SpaceX will need vehicles to transport Starship from the mainland to the launch platforms and then transport it back for repairs after launch. It would be a long distance with many risks. Additionally, building a fuel supply system is also a challenge. There are two possible ways. One, transporting fuel tanks, transporting fuel tanks, or two, building a pipe system connecting the tank farm on land to the platform. But, each method has its challenges. If SpaceX had more time, those problems could still be solved. But at that time, they were focusing on building land-based systems at Boca Chica and conducting tests with Starship. Therefore, the Ocean Launch Platform project could not be continued. Currently, Starship is still launching at Starbase in Boca Chica, Texas. However, it's the only orbital launch system for Starship at this time. At the moment, it's not too busy yet, but in the future, as launch schedules increase, it'll be quite difficult for only one launch system to handle all the missions. It will be necessary to build many new launch systems, and we all know building Building a launch system is very difficult, could take months, even a year, and will come with many other related difficulties. SpaceX planned to launch Starship at NASA's launch complex in Florida, however, this option also has many hurdles. The launch of Starship can greatly affect the launches of other vehicles and companies, such as Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy, which regularly serve ISS missions and new space station missions as well as other vehicles participating in the lunar mission. Additionally, launching Starship on land also comes with many risks. We all still remember what Starship S24 and B7 left after its flight, a large crater under the O. LM, with pieces of concrete causing damage to the fuel tanks. Luckily, it was intentionally destroyed over ocean airspace. If it took place on land, we can probably all imagine what would happen. NASA and other companies certainly wouldn't want this happening near their launch sites. In this situation, the ocean launch platform becomes the most suitable method. It'll overcome the disadvantages of land-based launch systems, ensuring Starship's future launch schedule, sharing the workload with the launch system at Starbase, and ensuring launch safety as well as unaffecting other vehicles. But everything will need to stay on hold until after the second orbital test flight, as this is still the goal that SpaceX is focusing on at the most present time. Time. Although it's still uncertain whether the aforementioned method will come true, Musk's revelation will probably open up many positive signs for this system. If the next flight succeeds, Starship's production and launch process will be greatly accelerated. During that time, SpaceX will likely have more specific moves involving the ocean launch platform plan. Wouldn't it be great if we could see many launch platforms appear in the middle of the ocean, and at the same time seeing hundreds of starships flying from those platforms every day in the future? Perhaps we only see those scenes in past sci-fi, but 
With SpaceX, nothing is impossible. It's only a matter of time. In fact, all life was born from the ocean. And now, the ocean may be the place to usher in a new era, where Starship will fly from here to begin a new page in the tome of human history marking the chapter of multi-planetary civilization. Well, folks, that wraps up our show for today. We hope you enjoyed learning more about what's happening over at SpaceX. If you want to support our channel and get access to exclusive content, please consider becoming a patron by clicking the link in the description below. We appreciate your generosity and your passion for space exploration. As always, this is Kevin from Great SpaceX, and until next time, keep looking up.